Welcome to in five minutes. Let's quickly draw it again, the dynamic NAND. Now you are familiarized of how to draw it. Header connected to a footer via phi. A, B, N1, N2, N3. And this is nothing but IP1. So let's quickly understand what's going to happen. Now we want to verify the truth table in the reverse order. Reverse order means I am first going to check for a b equal to 1 1. Then I will check for 0 1 maybe or rather I am sorry I will check it then for 1 0 then 0 1 and then 0 0. And we know what is the value which we are expecting. Okay. Let's start. Phi equal to 0. Yes. Phi equal to 0, P1 on N3 off, output, charge to VDD and the pre-charge phase. Phi equal to 1, P1 off, N3 on, inputs needs to be evaluated. So now we'll take all the four cases and phi equal to 1. So phi equal to 1. I'll make my A1, B1, so N1 on, N2 on, 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 N3 is anyways on. So my output gets a path to discharge and hence my V out is nothing but zero. Cool, I got the first case. Okay, case number two, A is one, B is zero, A1, B zero, isn't it? And because phi is equal to 1, n3 is on. So this n3 is on, this is off and n1 is on. So no part to ground. So output has to be equal to from the truth table equal to 1. But did you understand what has just happened when we made a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 and because we are in the evaluate phase, I have already made my output 0. And I am not going back to my pre-charge phase to make my output equal to 1. So here there is no way my output can be 1 unless I go to pre-charge phase. And that's not the right way of doing it because we need to evaluate our inputs in the evaluate phase. What does this say? This says that dynamic circuit have a major drawback of monotonicity. I'll tell you in one minute what does this mean or monotonically rising inputs. What's going to happen is just imagine that this dynamic circuit is driving some other block who needs a one to be triggered. Now what's going to happen is if A is 1 and B is 0 in the evaluate phase and my output was initially discharged because it cannot produce a 1 now unless and until you go back to the pre-charge phase, this circuit cannot be triggered. That means dynamic circuits have a drawback which is they need monotonically rising inputs. It means that the order in which the input should go is from low to high. Here what and it can be low to low, high to high, but it cannot be surely high to low. Let's understand, not to get confused. Here, okay, let's go to the back to the previous slide for a minute. Here, initially, A was zero, and then in the next cycle, A was still staying at zero, so the, the truth table could be, have been verified. Then a was 0. In the next cycle, A was 1. So it was rising. So the truth table was verified. Then A was 1 and it stayed 1. So again, it went in the same place and so the truth table was verified. Similarly, if you see for B, initially B was 0. Then it became 1. So monotonically rising condition. So now let's go back and see what's happening in this case. Here what happened was A was 1. And B was 1 initially, so everything went fine. Then A from 1 stayed to 1, which was this case. So it was all good. But B, what happened was, B moved from 1 to 0. And this is not allowed. So the input has to be monotonically rising. 
it means if initially the input was zero it can go to zero if it was zero it can go to one if it was one it can go to one if it is one it cannot go to zero and that's the major drawback of dynamic circuits that the inputs have to be monotonically rising if not you see that the functionality is not achieved correctly thank you and stay tuned